Did we first two periods? I thought we played really good and and uh, you know played some really good hockey. And uh, we got tight in the third, and um, obviously they ramped up their their desperation level, which is to expect they're playing for their season, and just didn't get it done. It's the same as if you win a game. You you know you enjoy it for three minutes and you move on. And here's the same thing. You, you sold for three minutes and you move on. That's as simple as that. It's it's playoff hockey. It's not supposed to be easy. It doesn't matter. Uh, looking to get a win. That was half your uh, half the game for. So it's uh, yeah. we're gonna move on like Gabe said and uh, come back and. Um, yeah, win game six on the road. Uh, it's a fun opportunity for us. Um, you know, hopefully, um, you know, everything happens for a reason and um, we got to get this done. But uh, yeah, it should make our team a little harder, a little uh, more grittier in these situations. Um, can't win every series in four and five. You know, they have a great team and uh, we're excited to go have a huge challenge in, in St. Louis and try to close out a series. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, it's in the past, but obviously we've we've had some success there, and um, you know, we definitely need a better effort uh, for a full sixty. Like Gabe said, we got on our heels a little bit. Um, we wanted it so bad, I guess, and um, just got to keep focusing on our process. And you know, when the third go to the the conference finals, whatever, uh, it's one period. Got to go uh, keep our game going, stay aggressive, um, and that's what we'll do. Uh, Friday or whatever. I don't even know what that is, but game six. Your, your mind, we understand your mindset is to try and win a lot. What is your current goal to get that win in six tonight? Um, yeah, I think we. I got out there and the, you know, they 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 were changing and they were tired, so I got some some room, made a move and, and scored. But like I said to Ryan, I, um, it's over with. We, you know, we lost. I was happy after game four. Um, you know, the playoffs aren't for for points and, and, and you know attention or whatever. It's just to, to get wins, and um, that's how everyone feels in our room. We're all tugging on the same rope, and it, it truly does not matter uh, about what kind of goals you score as long as they go in. So. Well, I think it's an ongoing conversation. You know, it's. You know, we have conversations in the room all the time and, and guys are talking and, and whatever, but, um, you know, I don't I, I don't see any reason to worry. I mean, our, our young guys and the, and the less experienced guys, um, you know, they've been awesome for us. You know, they've been really good and, you know, good students of the game and, and, and good kids and, and good guys that want to learn all the time and, and playing hard for us. So, I mean, that's just something we... You know, I think everybody, just like Nate said, we're all pulling the rope in the same direction, and and we'll turn the page and we'll get back to work tomorrow. Last one for you guys. Nick, what were they doing on that six on five against the Oilers? That just made me uncomfortable for some reason. Uh, well, in the, the third period, you know, they did a good job of pe keeping pucks in, and and we got a little bit sloppy with some of our clears, and um, you know, it's desperation mode for them, and they're throwing pucks to the net and. Rebound was lay, laying there, and and uh, you know they're outnumbering us at the net. Simple as that. But uh, you know it's we got to have a short memory and move on. Hey, you, uh, the first twenty five minutes of the game, you stay up three nothing, and then you get the game in six seven. Uh, it, it seemed like in the second and third period, you guys got the game in hand. Did you feel some kind of shift later in that period that just started to kind of change for you? No, I don't think so. I mean, you go into the third period with, you know, the lead at home in a playoff game like this. We, you know, we're a confident group, and um, nothing that really happened that changes it. It's just, you know, sometimes um, you get on your heels a little bit, get a little tight, and, you know, you want to try to stay aggressive, but you also don't want to, you know, miss an assignment and things like that. You want to try to play safe at times. and. Sometimes it comes back and bites you. So uh, that's what it did tonight. And uh, we just got to stay aggressive. That's that's what we've been doing as we did game three and four. And we were up 
late in the game and just keep playing. And sometimes it bounces your way, sometimes it doesn't. And that's playoff hockey. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, well, they played with more desperation than us in the second half of the game. And um, we had a couple chances, and their goalie made some big saves. And then for me, even getting like out of the second, we made a mistake on their goal, like just a little late on the coverage on the middle guy, a little late on the rush coverage on the next one. It's the last, you know, six, eight minutes. That, like they're on a push and they're pressing down on us and we made some mistakes with the puck. Like we didn't we didn't get pucks out. We had pucks on our stick. They they had that desperation to keep plays alive. And then we had to, you know, looking back at it now and, and looking at the you know, some of the play in D zone. Like we got we got some poor habits in there, you know, cheating uh for pucks and not protecting the right part of the ice too. So um, you know, Nate cut, scores a huge goal for us at, to bounce us back in the lead, and then we give up another one. Like it was a, it was a, you know, six on five. They get a bounce, and we're kind of sitting in there doing everything right. And um, I don't think Kemp's could find it. I don't think Kale could find it. But it's the play leading up to that that where we where we kick too many pucks back to him. Well, both, both, yeah. Like I think you know, he you can group Kemp's in with our team. You know, we weren't good enough in the in the third period, especially. You know, like we did such a good job in St. Louis of just continuing to play our game. You know, with the lead, and we've done a good job of it pretty much all year, to be honest with you. And all of a sudden, you know, late in the game when they get on their push, it looked like we were handling it well for a little while. Obviously, you know, not as good in the offensive zone as it was what we'd want to be to try and spend some more time down there. Um, but then the, the turnover is late and, you know, swinging around in the D zone, it costs us. Well, it'll be, you know, it, I mean, it's relatively easy to say, but like, we they've seen our last couple of games and and they know what it felt like and how we continued to play. We stopped playing, you know. Um, they're a desperate team uh, facing elimination. They were gonna come and they were gonna play hard and they're a really good team, you know. So you got to match that and you got to keep that intensity and desperation in your game, whether you're playing with a lead or coming from behind, you know. And like I said, we've done that, so it's fresh in their in their memory. We got to get back to our game and play like we did. Like we had, a, we had a pretty good first half of the game again, and built a nice lead, and we're doing everything right. And to me, it just kind of disappeared. Like it was trickling away in the third, and then the latter part of the third was no good. Well, I think you, I think you have to stay aggressive. You got to continue to play your game and believe that believe in in what you're doing. And like I said, for the most part, we've been doing that. But like it, you know, it's starting to look like you're either the hammer or the nail in the series, you know. And so we have to go and be the hammer. Like we have to keep moving forward and pressing and and you know forcing them into mistakes. And but it starts with the competitiveness and the and the and the puck decisions. You know, as the game went on, there we kind of. Like they had a little bit extra in the battle, and we didn't, and our puck decisions were not good. When you say I think our effort was there, but we made some, you know, coverage mistakes, and we got out battled around the front of the net a little bit in the corners that are hanging on to pucks, and we didn't close enough plays out. And when we did, and we were, you know, comfortable down there, being able to defend and not give anything up, and then we got the puck back and we handed it right back to him a number of times, and you can't do that. I 
I did. I actually liked our room after um, the regulation. You know, obviously that stings, especially when Mac can go down and make a huge individual effort and, and get us another one to take the lead back after we kind of been stumbling. Um, you know, six on five, it's it's going to get hairy a little bit at times. And and um, you know, when we turn the puck over on six on five too a couple of times, like even. Um, you know, Landy probably had a chance to shoot for it there and they get closed out the line. Like, it was a fine line. Um, but I liked our room after um, after the three periods ended, coming out in overtime. I actually liked our start in overtime, too. We were jumping. We got a few rush attacks, put one to the net that just clipped a guy that was going in on the weak side and couldn't come up with the rebound. Then they went down and got a shot and put it in the net, you know. So, um Sometimes that's the way it goes. You got to you got to put it behind you. You got to move on. We got another chance to close out the series in St. Louis. We just played two really good games in there. Well, it's the same as the rest of our team. So they'll get addressed with the rest of our team. He's included in it. Well, great speed coming through the neutral zone. We talked about getting back on the attack and starting our push and and making sure we were spending some time and take our shots if we haven't. But, I mean, unbelievable individual effort and to get around Letty in there and then still be able to grab it to his forehand and put it up top. It's the prettiest goal I've seen in a long time. Yeah, I thought he was good tonight, really good for the most part of the game. And, and you know, it's big. Like, you got to have different guys stepping up different nights. Like, people will be like, well, our top guys aren't going enough. But we're winning hockey games and different guys are stepping up. It was Naz there. It was Nate tonight. Um, consistent effort from most of our guys. Like, we, we, we're going to need everyone to play their best game here in St. Louis to close them out, you know. And, and it's good to have him going. I thought he just he was jumping right from the get-go tonight. Any last one for Jared? Thanks. Thanks. Yep.